Hello, my friends. Welcome back. We have made it to the final reveal of the Don't Roll the Dice Blanket. It has been so long in the making. I cannot tell you how excited and happy I am that this is finally done. Because, my friends, it's going to go right there. And it's going to be right there for a very long time. Uh, this blanket has been a work of patience, of tenacity, of perseverance. <laughs> there have been very long nights, very long nights of frustration. There have been some tears. There have been uh, some conversations with family members about how blankets like this uh, used to be something that people would pass around and keep in the family and add on to even. I heard a story of a blanket that another side of my family has that is a giant granny square blanket that has just been added on to and patched over the years. Um, there's even some quilted squares added into it to make it, you know, whole again uh, over the last two or three generations. Um, which is amazing to me. I, I want to find this blanket and see it. But piecing this blanket together was not as difficult as I thought it would be. Not at all. Um, Toby has opinions. <laughs> he has all the opinions. Um, piecing the blanket together was not as difficult as I, as I thought it would be. I chose a slip stitch uh, join method. So I went, uh, I put the, the blanket squares wrong sides together and I slip stitched down the middle, grabbing the back loops only. It creates a mostly flat border that looks a little braided, which is super cool. You're going to see it in just a second. Um, so I, I just sat down one day and I had all of the major stitching of it in done in one day. It took about five hours to do, uh, which Seems like a long time, but I was just chatting and conversing with family, watching TV. I didn't work the whole way through. Uh, if I had really sat down and focused on it, it would not have taken anywhere close to that amount of time to do. But that being said, I'm very happy with the outcome, very happy with how it looks and how it came out. I'm about to show it to you right now. So don't be alarmed. There, there are some pictures that you will see of the full blanket, but here we go. Here we go. I'm super excited for this. This blanket is everything that I wanted it to be. Absolutely. Absolutely everything. I'm getting stuck on my ball winder. Um, I'm just, I'm just going to wrap up in it. We're going to sit here and chill and, and talk for a minute. So, uh, as you can see, we have... Let's see if I can get this closer. Uh, you can see the slightly braided border. And I love the little flower effect that created in the corners. It's perfect. It's absolutely perfect. Um, it is very heavy. Now that I have the border on it, it probably weighs a good three to four pounds. I don't know why, but it does. And I'm okay with that. <laughs> I am okay with that. Um, I absolutely love what came out of this. Uh, around each square, I did do another round of double crochet to try to widen the border, the outside border on the blanket itself. I'm going to leave it this way for a little while. I don't know if I'm going to leave it this way forever. I might add to the border. But for right now, the border is... Just added another round of double crochet clusters all the way around in the chain spaces. And I did the corner like I did the rest of the blanket. So I'm going to insert some pictures here. <laughs> uh, do, do give me a little bit of leeway with the pictures. It has been raining and stormy and gross nearly every single day since I finished the blanket itself. And it's been very difficult to actually get pictures of it that look good. But here are the pictures. Uh, and I hope that um, they live up to your expectations. I 
am so, so pleased with this blanket. So pleased. Um, the colors are just perfect. The color palette is perfect. It's, so, it's super bright and cheerful and springy. And it's just giving me everything that I needed for it. And I knew, I just had a hunch that it would be this good. So I am so, so happy with this blanket. Um, that being said, now that I have revealed my blanket, I want to see yours. If you play, if you played along this entire time with this craft along, do please send me pictures of your makes. If you did something different than granny squares, or if you chose a different method to use the random chance choices in your make, please let me know what you did in an email or in a Facebook post in my Facebook group. Uh, you can email me at this address below. And once you do, know that I'm probably going to include your make in a slideshow similar to what I did for the New Year New Scale Challenge. Uh, so keep that in mind. If you send it to me, I'm going to use it in the video that will come out later in the month. If you're going to send in a make to me to the email address on the screen, do please have that to me by April 30th. I would like to make the video and get it in onto YouTube in the first week in May. That is my goal. So get your pictures to me as soon as you can. Finish your item. Don't rush if you're still putting it together. It's perfectly fine. But finish your item. Send me the picture. Get it to me by April 30th. And then I will put together a slideshow. And we'll, we'll celebrate all of your makes as well. And I'll tell you a little bit more of a story uh, once uh, once I make that video. So here it is, the reveal. I'm so excited, friends. Thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey. You have no idea what this means to me. Really, you don't. But uh, you will. You will very soon. In in the re the reveal video of all of your makes, uh, I'm gonna going to add a little bit of color and context to it. So in the meantime, friends, Cannot wait to see what you've done. I hope you've enjoyed this progress and this process. And I hope you enjoy this blanket too, because I absolutely love it. So until next time, my friends, happy stitching.